Hey, y'all. <laughs> Whew. Sorry, I popped my mouth so hard. We're just doing a little quick update. Wow. I told y'all the Giants is coming. And they started in Florida. Hmm. Just so happened where Trump said he was going to drain the swamp and stuff. Y'all remember that? <clears throat> Y'all remember when? When back in 2001. 2001. What the fuck? 2021. Maybe I have something to do with 2001. I don't know. What was Jay-Z doing back then? But uh, y'all remember... 2021, Jay-Z phone, the FBI said his phone was getting tapped or something like that. They had him under investigation. Needless to say, right? My lips are healing, by the way. Slowly, naturally, I'm just not brushing it. Head on my back right now. Just <sighs> this is crazy. I I don't know what God you know be have plan for me, but I just be so happy when things work out. I just do, and he just you know God be guiding for real. That's all I can say is thank you. That's why I say thank you. You know, I'll be going through some gross shit. I'll be crying and shit. I'll be like, what the fuck? <laughs> but God, I don't want to. <laughs> no, I don't want no parts of that. <laughs> you know, through all my emotions, the good and the bad. <sighs> I'll be like, thank you, God. You know, I think the, the struggle is... All of us getting on uh, some type of accord, right? With what God wants us to do. I just see my, my, the light from my phone light up brighter. You know, it is easier said than done. I remember when I first started... <laughs> <laughs> in my walk of healing. Oh my God. I was like, all this stuff is going on. <laughs> Why is all this stuff going on? <laughs> Why is this okay? <laughs> like, dude. I mean, I still be like that, but I'm just not reactive as much in that way. You know, I was very, 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 very much so emotional. I was just so sensitive to everything. I'm still sensitive to everything, but it's just like the way I was sensitive to all the energy. It's just crazy, yo. Crazy. Crazy. <sighs> Excuse me. So I was like, the giants are coming, unicorns are real, da 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 da. Right? BFG, go watch the movie. Um, I was talking about this, like, the Florida, you know? Then it was like, this woman um, was saying she put in the coordinates backwards, and this other guy confirmed it. They put the coordinates to the mall that or like the 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 coordinates to Alaska put them in backwards and it led to the mall now I swear to god that shit is crazy because what came to my mind was um remember when Trump and his people right they stormed that white house and they was tearing it up and shit and people were scared and they was like Oh, get on the buses and 
They was like, no, they're going to take us to Alaska. Like, what the fuck, y'all? Y'all really need to be questioned. We need to be questioned. What is going on in Alaska? What? What is going on? So we need to be asking, questioning, researching, and uh, gathering. Oh, Jesus. I was bent up right here in this position for a minute before I even started recording. But that's what it made me think of. Like, I be like, God be giving me down the downloads, y'all. And I be like, what? I thought I was tripping. I'm telling you. It just remind me of so much. And all the different stuff that I've talked about, that I've warned people about, especially when it comes down to healing. And, um, you know, group. <laughs> it's crazy, yo. It's crazy. I think I talked about, too, how I accidentally called the Reiki healer that was the Reiki master healer. They gave me my, like, my first class for my level one and two. That was jealous of my gifts. <laughs> gifts that I didn't even, was nowhere aware of. And how she was trying to make me feel inferior. Talking about she was Egyptian and da 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 da. She was not. She was full of shit. <laughs> now that I am knowing and realizing of how... All of these lies have been going on about where Egypt really is. In America, how Egypt is the U.S. Us, we are the last ones to stand. And, you know what I'm saying? All them artifacts that people got, you should really return them. I don't want to say his name exactly. But he knows who I'm referring to. Don't want to say the name. But whatever. I've already said the name on this channel. What, over a year ago. Yeah, just over a year ago. It was in regards to my tire fucking popping. Reoccurrence of memories for the past year, two, three, four, five, in the year eight. This is the year eight. Shit is popping. More alien sightings. It's going to be more abundant this year. Everything is going to be more abundant. So, you know, if you've been in some bullshit, you've been on some bullshit, you're going to get more bullshit. Apparently, for the next 20 or so year cycle, it's a lot of time, possibly seven to eight years, but everybody's karma is different, so I don't know why. I'm just like really freaking sleepy, yo. I've been up really, really early. <laughs> Oh my god. But let's talk about it. Hmm. Don't know how true it is. But I wouldn't doubt it. Um apparently I don't know if it's a singer or not, but I know I had a neighbor whose friends committed suicide and they were just together. 
And then I just heard someone else who was struggling through foster care, getting their daughter out, a male, different male, uh, hopefully, maybe, possibly, or, excuse me, be really ironic if it was the same male guy committed suicide he was fighting for his daughter and thankfully you know the foster mom was a great mom it's probably why he you know but I just people don't understand how hard it is and how these people make you look bad you know I'm getting what I need to do and getting for what I can do right now, for sure, together. Um, as far as paperwork, but people don't understand, like, dude, it's fucking hard AF to fight these people. Just don't give up, man. I mean, regardless of what aliens we see, what beings we see now, um, portals are, you know, opening up and whatnot. Just hope that God named certain stupid ass, but they fucked up a lot of shit too. Um, God is pretty much correcting that. So, you just really have to worry about you and your surroundings and people that are in wanting to be in good healing standards and <laughs> god dig it i can tell you right now it's not a lot of stable people in a crisis situation that you would want to be around uh, i know it definitely for that for me you know what i mean um geez I found I find the mental, you know, instability and, and stagnant stagnation of people just utterly frustrating. And I mean, it can be so frustrating to a point, but it's like crazy. It's like you know, just like I've said before, there's just some people that you would not want to be around and middle of a crisis no food no water <laughs> you know what I'm saying you have to go out in nature and find a way to purify some water I told y'all what's that damn movie called um it's, it was a movie based off of like LA Oh my god, I swear if it's about the same timeline and it feels like it is, that's crazy. I forgot the guy's name, the actor's name and everything. Um but the guy was like surfing on sharks or something. <laughs> this is crazy, yo. It's an old like old school movie. It had to come out in like the seventies, eighties era. Time travel is real. Time jumping is real. Y'all just have to do your own research and your own healing for real. To heal as much as possible. <laughs> I was just so enthused in what healing could do for me and my generations, for my children. Because, shit, if... I had parents, I would have wanted them to do the same thing, like for real. And I just, oof, it's crazy. Um, it's like being addicted to healing. <laughs> I really, you know, cried and wept because I wanted healing for other people. On a mass level, and I was so <laughs> I'm trying not to cry. 
I'm so <clears throat> enthused and heartfelt on people healing themselves. And I, I feel like, you know, I still feel like it's not fair for people to not know how to heal because if we have been deceived so much i'm still learning how to heal as well i'm not perfect i don't think i am but i just really i strive to be better than i was before at any and all times and i wanted that so much for you know the masses that Do it again. I'm pretty sure that's why my contract is the way it is. <laughs> but, um, just don't give up, man. Healing for the masses. I just, I see. So much more unity now. And more of our people. And people in general, no matter the color. Um, I almost... <laughs> In some type of way, I was just like, I had to learn how to, <laughs> it's like letting your baby go and knowing that it's going to be able to take care of itself, fly one day, right? And that's how I really genuinely feel about every being here. And um, it sounds really crazy when you think about it to have that type of love for very volatile things to very um loving healing and nurturing things a spectrum right but love um when you put that type of love out you get that love back and I was like I was almost so close to me and like this is I was like it's not gonna happen people are you know fuck people just don't give a fuck <laughs> it's like fuck you know when you just run into some people that just <laughs> remind you of you in a time you were struggling you know, spiritually or whatever, you know, not knowing yourself and not knowing how great of a potential that you have to be, right? That shit, like, it hurts, man. But then, at the same time, the kindness and the love that I showed him, you know, I know that that'll leave a lasting imprint. And they'll remember that. You know, I'll be hoping sometime, somewhere in their soul that they will. Some type of familiarity. You know. Because um, I remember being there. This is before... <laughs> It was before I got pregnant, and I was just like, I was talking to my mom, I was like, fuck, I was like, this world is so fucking cold, like, mom, I don't have no feelings right now, I have no feelings, <laughs> and I just felt my heart chakra, I said, mom, I have no feelings right now, like, that's a scary place, dangerous place to be, right? Because you really don't know 
what's going on, why it's happening, or, you know, who may set you off, or when, you know, you just may snap. But you want to love so bad that something keeps fighting. Something in you keeps going. And then you find your purpose. And then you share your purpose. And you share your experience. I was just thinking about how <laughs> my dad I feel <laughs> let me tell you I don't know I don't really I can't really understand it but just the way my dad made me feel like a princess like <laughs> like a queen he made me feel that way. And, you know, even when I went to church, I was treated like that. And that's what I remember. When I was little, 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 you know, I got baptized at a very young age. <laughs> I thought the best was trying to kill me. He held me under the water for a bit too long to where I grabbed him and I pulled up. I didn't need to forget I'm down here. <laughs> like, and I grabbed it. I pulled up. Oh, hell. <sighs> so, just having all of these childhood memories, I think I talked about <laughs> seeing Roly Poly the Polar Bear. And trying to hide in the curtains as I'm supposed to be dancing on stage at an elementary <laughs> show. I've always been shy. I've never really liked to be out on any type of stage. Even when they try to get me like into um I'm telling you the most basic things. Hey, um, hey guys, because uh, Lion King was like one of my favorite movies, right, when I was younger. And when I was doing tryouts, my parents, I didn't know what the hell was going on. They had me doing tryouts for I guess acting right, doing commercials. They pick my shirt that I was wearing. I never forget it. My favorite color at the time. Um it was a turquoise color shirt and it had um the Lion King on it. It had Simba, it had Nala on it. And they were like, say, hey guys, your um Lion King's coming out or something, see you real soon or you know, come out and see it or something like that. They wanted me to say I was so long ago. I don't even remember. I really like I threw that tape away. Uh just ironically. I threw that tape away when I was supposed to move out of state in two thousand what was like two thousand twelve to something like that. And ironically, then I was supposed to be moving to Texas. And I was like, I'm just going to start all over. I'll be okay. I'll always have the memory of my heart. You know what I mean? I just, my heart just dropped. <laughs> I will be okay, right? And I don't know who this is for, like... Even now, it hurts, like, when people steal stuff from me. You know what I mean? But 
God has showed me, like, you <laughs> were so strong that no matter how or what people do to tear you down or hurt you, whatever, I got you. And I'm like, okay, thank you. Like, <laughs> I have no idea it take. It hurts me because it's like I'm fighting for my children and people don't think how I'm thinking. I'm acting as if my children are still with me. Because if I didn't act that way and, and have been knowledgeable enough to act that way, there's a dog barking. Um, I could be in trouble. I could, you know what I mean? Anybody could fly off the handle. Anybody can whatever. And that's what, that's the person they think is a bitch. That's the person they think. Don't have no army. It, that's the person they think that is alone. You know what I mean? And I always said this, and I had no idea how deep the meaning was. They say, just because you see me by myself don't mean I'm alone. And I'll be, and even then, I was like, damn, why I take a million motherfuckers to fuck with me, try to bring me down, da 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 da. Not knowing, like, it was going to be even more. <laughs> like, the fucking Matrix show. I like, God. Don't you know I'm tired? You know? But it gets better. It gets easier. <laughs> Don't give up. It's so easy to give up. The pressure that they, they put on people. <laughs> the lies, the manipulation that they tell. And then, you know, the other people that you, for instance, baby mama, baby daddy, you connect to, they is on, they nip it at your heels too. Like, that's the worst ones. <laughs> When you only have God to trust, it feels weird. <laughs> but at the same time, it feels so right. And that's what gives me peace. It's knowing that. No matter what the hell I can't see, what is going on, as long as I keep doing my due diligence, because <laughs> I'm telling you, when I say, like, you working and you fighting, and you're doing everything that you can. To get your children back. And you just have to keep it quiet as to what you're doing. Because you don't know. <laughs> and then in some type of way you do know. Who is trying to keep you from being successful? And I've always tell my children this. Especially my own ones. <laughs> people that don't know you that don't want you to succeed and there can be people right there but you don't want you to succeed I'm so glad there's a lot of decisions that I did not make that could have fucked up a lot of shit but I'm just so glad. Uh, oh, the four that the number that I gave out is no longer working. Just in case y'all want to know, it's no longer working at all. So I know if somebody gets playing on my phone, ain't nobody but child protective services. 
nobody but them. It sounds crazy, but it's not these people. And it's either you serving the good or you serving the fucking bad. And I swear, before God in heaven, motherfucker God of the highest white blood and order, that these motherfuckers are trying to do everything to not give my children. They're trying to use my fucking Reiki master uh, skills and shit. I mean, this the skill is human. The rest is God and God's choice because nothing can happen without his fucking stamp. God know more about what's going on than I fucking do. I'm just following my steps in your word, dear Lord. He me, guide me every day. And that's what I keep hearing. Father, I pray, follow my steps in your word. Order my steps in your word. <laughs> That's how we're going. Order my steps in your word, dear Lord. He guide me every day. Mm -hmm. I pray all my steps. Order my steps in your word. That's one of my favorite songs. One of my favorite songs. I still love that song. <laughs> I still love that song. But, um, <sighs> when you don't, don't know you can do all you can do is really just stand. Stand. Almost like standing on business, like for real. And just watch God work. They gonna swear to God that you doing some fucking these motherfuckers. They think they probably do think I do black magic, but I can get I can guarantee you. I don't know shit about no black magic. <sighs> shit. If I did, yeah. yeah. It wouldn't be cute. I know that much. <laughs> it would not be cute, Lord Jesus. It would not be. It would just, I don't know what it would look I don't know what that would look like. But I just pray to God, you know, God keep me. Because I didn't think that I would see people coming together like they are now and I'm just really glad to see that shit cause I was just like people don't understand how how connected I am to earth to a lot of things to a lot of <laughs> planetary universal things and I asked I just got to chill and I receive. I can't say how much, how much I am connected. It's crazy. And I'm just sitting back. I'm, I'm in fucking shock. <laughs> like, <laughs> I'm in shock my damn self. I'm just like... It feels like the Twilight Zone. It do 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 do. <laughs> and that's the way it feels. It feels very, very um, refreshing because when you see crabs in 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 real life and multiple crabs a day, and then. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, just so much different things, dude. It's crazy. When you see all these different things, you're just like, God, please keep me because I know this is real. This stuff is real. 
and it's happening. <laughs> People cannot believe it. Y'all just better, you know, just all I can say is really heal. Protect yourself. Protect yourself and prepare. You know, they about to they about to pull some bullshit. Especially with the water. I was singing Rango a lot. Rango kept popping up. Uh, the movie, Disney movie. Rango. So, y'all go watch that movie and see how in relationship with them. They is. They trying to tear up the planet. I just seen a freaking video. I, should, I put it on my KD Blast list. Um, wait, what's his name? That was on uh, Ice Age Collision Crash Course. That a scientist, he talking about, oh yeah, they trying to get up out of here. <laughs> Elon Musk and him, I talked about that shit too, y'all. I talked about that shit too. I talked about this shit, what, last year? <laughs> they trying to bust about this motherfucker. Well, guess what? If y'all, like I said, make everything free, everything will be okay. We get a lot of us can live in peace and harmony. Then the other ones will follow suit from the healing. Like, they would have to, a, a peace of mind, a rest, and just fucking chill. I'm trying not to do this, but damn, some people for real, that's all they need to be able to chill. Because then they're going to be like, well, what the hell am I stealing? What the hell am I robbing for? What the hell did I just kill somebody for? What did I just... You know what I'm saying? They will start reflecting on what, more, how much more time they have on their hands without all this negativity, stress, anguish that they've been put into this matrix. That'd be okay. Y'all would be okay if y'all try to just stop fucking up the earth. <laughs> just stop it. Y'all would be okay. I, I said this. I just talked about this. And I said they're coming. I said God is coming. I said this. 2021? Early 2022? I said it. God is coming. I said, y'all don't. <laughs> I said, what you think happened when an angel come from that realm up there down to here in a physical form? They going to, you're going to be able to see them. You're going to be able to feel them. They're not going to look like us. They are our ancestors. <laughs> God sent his angels, Lord Jesus, 144,000 people is, they just going to have to start understanding, like, this shit has to stop. It really does. I'm glad my good ears are in now because my, I was on nerves, so I'm like, damn. I need a break. <laughs> Good Lord. And it's probably because I'm giving this message right now. But a lot to do with healing, a lot with accepting these beings for who they are. Shit. It's a lot. <laughs> it's a lot going on. So, and it's crazy because I felt like something was going on. And I was like, I ain't really know what it was. And I was just like, oh, whatever. 
But it's crazy because I want to say about a week or so ago, I was hearing footsteps. <laughs> I got chills just now. And I was like, okay, whatever you are, you can stay out there. I closed the door. <laughs> that motherfucker came in the room. I go, okay, well, I'm just going to go to sleep. Took my ass to sleep. <laughs> I am not about to be stressing off a of shit like that. Just be, just be good and be well and all that you are, are supposed to be. Doing. Make sure it's positive, healing, loving. Still am offering Reiki to those who want to. I actually want to share this too. I did a Reiki session on someone and they were having chronic body pain and it stopped. He said it worked. I was like, oh, cool. Because, you know, they try to demonize everything. Shit, it's natural healing. They took all the natural herbs and shit. From the Indians, from the original tribes, and they turned it into medicine, peel form, shit like that. So, natural healing, energetic kingdom works. It does wonders. I usually use it mostly for myself and my children and other things, so you know my stuff, clearing energy out of my stuff, my phone, what I drink, what I eat, what I do, where I, before I go, when I go, where I am. You know, there's so many dualities to energy healing. It's like teleportation. You know what I'm saying? It's just healing. Some people... Use it for dark. Some people use it for light. I use mine for light. Obviously, the old teacher that taught me was using it for dark. And she she used to be dark, so, hey. You know, I think, you I know we were all dark at some point, but it's just the point of insecurities. People's insecurities can really fucking kill you. They try to kill you, but it... You try to stay away from insecure people that would just fly off the handle. But other than that, I'm just like, I'm really happy. I'm ecstatic. Like, I know um, it was crazy. Like, <laughs> it's going to be interesting. It's really going to be interesting. I'm going to keep y'all updated on stuff going on as much as possible. I did just ground today. Put my feet in the grass. It felt good. It wasn't for a long time. I want to be longer. So hopefully tomorrow I have more time. Um, I got my yoga mat with me. <laughs> Finally. <laughs> and everything else. Being in order. With God, with God's grace, we're going to be good. Call your blessing to you, but before you're able to really, really get all your full blessings, you got to get away from fuck-ass people. <laughs> you do. And it's just a lot of fuck ass people in my energy. And I'm just sad but happy at the same time. I'm glad my baby is, you know. My babies be babying. <laughs> what did my son tell me? I don't know. He just seems so much more like happy. I don't know. It's kind of crazy. 
I think he just he he feels my energy sometimes, like a lot of times. Like my babies, I can't even explain the connection that I have on my children. It's absolutely crazy. He feels so happy. And I don't even under kinda of understand why right now, but I don't know. You know. They know my baby girls, they they're doing all right. I'm just and what's crazy is even the play therapist that my children now finally have. I've been requesting that they get into counseling because I don't believe no child is too young to get into counseling. No. Like, not when they're fucking talking and shit. Like, no. They're old enough. <laughs> that how the foster mom is really fucking me. How she's torturing my son all of last year because he told on her. <laughs> her making him eat noodles all the time and a lot of different stuff and how she been spanking him like make sure you know I think she wonder why things be happening I said man look it's cray cray but um glad to hear from y'all glad to hear to Y'all watch, like, and subscribe and share the video. Please and thank you. I know it's not a woohoo video, but it's not a bleh video either. I'm just kind of, shit, I'm naturally emotional. Shit, you know, can't help it. Just am. But everything is coming into balance. <laughs> uh, 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 as it should. Y'all should have seen my lips when this shit first happened. And my lips was black as hell. <laughs> like I had been smoking all my life. <laughs> black as hell. Damn. My lips had got dark when I started smoking. But they went <laughs> this dark shit. They're hot. It was the Sobachi extra hot noodles <laughs> that did it so y'all don't eat those don't you know I I don't know why I like hot stuff <laughs> I really don't know why but I've been like that all my life it's ridiculous so anyways pray before you go to sleep pray on everything Ask God, please, for everything that you need. But do the work. <sighs> I'm doing the work. <laughs> and I told y'all, I'm going to be tired as fuck. Like, it's crazy right now. I can't even really talk about everything right now, but I'm tired. And I just really need God to give my mental <laughs> a break. Because I swear, I've never been so fucking agitated. I have so much patience. It's crazy. But I just, I just understand, like, my soul at this point does not want to make time or room for the bullshit. And that's just it. That's the way it got to be. And so, I'm real good at training and working with, you know, multitudes of energies, people, beings, whatever, right? But it's just like, it's complicated to try to explain it to somebody else because it's like, it's natural. And so, I'm not so much trying to control, but it's just like, make it easier on my mental stability <laughs> at this point because it's a lot to deal with but anyways hopefully this will be over soon and this 
this time I'll fly. I need to fly back. I need to fly back. And it's Capricorn season. Capricorn, just Capricorn. And y'all know how I feel about Capricorns unless it's a Leah. Matter of fact, when her birthday, her birthday is coming up. It should be in a few days. Uh, it's not in my book, sweets. Hard. It's Leah. So, the hardest Capricorn I know. Ooh! And Jason Lee, oh my God. I, was, I can't wait. Because all that tea going to come out, boy. I'm telling you, on Beyonce and Jay-Z, I'm telling you. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling y'all, 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 y'all. I had no idea how deep this shit went. These people. <sighs> I don't understand. I would, I would, you know what it spear reminded me of too. <laughs> I said I don't think I could just kill people for some bullshit, like for a car, for a house, or whatever. Right? Spear showed me tales from the hood, <laughs> and I've been seeing like this crypt. Keeper energy too, right? But tells from the hood when the guy, the bald headed guy, he was in the prison, a certain type of facility they had in there, right? And he was having flashes of the people that he killed and da da da, right? And how at the end they like, showed it, you know, supposedly the jit, the the devil. Um. He's like, welcome to hell. <laughs> God damn. I was like, I couldn't. I just. Not just. It couldn't be for free. I couldn't just be. Oh, pal. Oh, pal. Pal. Or stab or whatever. I could not do that. And be able to sleep at night. Just because I want a house. I want a car. Da, 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 da. I see it in defense and protection. You know what I mean? I see it in those factors. But no. My ass. I'd be so torn up inside. That's just like me having like random sex. <laughs> My ass. <laughs> Me as a cheater is, is no, it didn't never work. <laughs> it didn't never work. I would never want to go back into the energy again. I just want to leave. You know what I'm saying? Just go, let me go meditate. Let me just go. You know what I'm saying? Let me go have some peace. Let me just, let me regroup. Let, let's just talk about it. Let's just talk about it. And if we can't talk about it and work shit out, fuck it. Fuck the cheating. Because that's too much. It's already enough being in a relationship. And do all that extra shit? Uh-uh. I couldn't do it. Now with everything I've obtained and know now, God would kick my ass. I would kick my own ass. I definitely would. Well, God, to my ass. I'd be like, you want some of this too, old man? No. <laughs> no, I don't. No. So I'm going to give y'all an hour. I ain't planning to give y'all an hour. It is what it is. It just resonate with somebody. You know, hopefully. And if it does, just do the human work. It takes time. It takes effort. It takes energy. It takes, ooh. But if you have money, it's so much easier. But it's like crazy. Some people cheat to get, like, to, to skip a step. But 
And that's what I got with Noctez. Then <laughs> But God already said that. God already said he was breaking up fake ass relationships and people in high places that we have to fall in order to, you know what I'm saying? Unless they were on up and up and God got it sorted. I'm telling you, God is bam, 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 bam. Knock them out. Knock them down. Line them up. I'm just like, oh, what is it giving me? <laughs> but let me go because I got some shit to do. Talk to y'all later. Y'all be great. Peace, love, and you know what I'm saying? Talk to you later. Oh, I did it. I did it. I did it. Woof. Woof. <laughs> Stay childlike and not childish. Right?